Hello, Sam Owens here with another tip to help you. At some point, uh, you may end up with a leak in the house and uh, it may be a big leak and uh, water's just uh, going everywhere and you need to shut it off quickly. Well, every homeowner should have a way, uh, know how to shut the water off at the uh, water meter and that's where we are right now. But one of the things you're gonna need ahead of time is a water key and this is what it looks like. It's got a handle and a slot at the end that goes over the water valve and allows you to turn it. And you only need a quarter of a turn to, uh, to turn the water off, quarter of a turn to turn it back on. We're gonna go through those steps, but <clears throat> you need to know also that most of the time the water shutoff valve is below dirt and you don't even see it. So I'm gonna show you how uh, to find the water valve uh, so you're ready uh, in case you really need to do it, okay? So let's divert our attention now down to the water meter. This is mine and uh, my neighbors is over there and they're usually covered up. So have you some gloves on, it might help a lot. And this is just a little inspection place that you can get in there and look at the meter. Uh, and I have a video and an article about how to read the water meter. Ah, and this is what it'll look like when you open yours up. Dirt just flows in there. So what you need to do, if you were gonna look at your valve, I mean your meter, You'd have to clean it up. So you may want a rag out here. And there's a little a pointer that if it's going around, you're losing water if everything is turned off. Huh. Let's see. This thing's sticking up. I'm sorry. I okay. This is not your uh, shutoff valve. <clears throat> You'll need to look to the street. So I found that out the hard way. I thought <clears throat> it was on this side, but it's, uh, it's before the meter. So it's actually on the street side. You see that right there? So we look right in here. This is what you're looking for right here. It's almost level with the uh, uh, with the dial or the face of the water meter so you shouldn't have to dig down too far okay so that's it <clears throat> now what you would do is you would take this and you take the slot and you stick it over here and then to turn it off you turn it to the right like that until it stops. Now the water is off and now I turn it back and it stops, that's on. So clockwise to turn it off, counterclockwise to turn it on. Okay, so that's it. So my water is on right now and I'm gonna go over and turn the valve on so you can see the uh, the needle moving. Now you see that little star in the center is moving fast. The big dial is moving rather slowly. So if you ever see this little star device, and yours may be in a different location, but if it's moving and you don't have any water on, then you are losing water. And so you don't want that to happen. You're going to need to have it checked out. But at least if your water bill is high, you may want to look at that little star. The faster I have the water coming out of the hose, the faster that little thing will spin. I just have it cracked a little bit right now. So I'm going to go turn it off and you should see it stop. And 
it has stopped so we're good okay now you know a little bit more about uh, the water that comes into your house <clears throat> and uh, go look at your water meter and uh, find your valve and it's on the street side so it's not over here and if you see something sticking up that's not it this is the valve as i showed you before right here this one not that and that's the street side there before it, the water goes into the meter okay now place this back in place close this up and we're done okay good luck go see if your water uh, meter is showing any kind of movement all right till next time Sam Owen saying so long